Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be, we're going to finally do the last in the series of the Bad Zodiac from Melt Cosmetics. Today is fire, so we have Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And so we'll see how difficult this is. I'm using a few new products, so I gotta keep an eye on it. The Catrice lipstick, that's what I have here. This is the one I got for $2.99. So far, it's, uh, well, I do have a lip liner on. I used Gwen Stefani's uh, one in Scarlet Red. So, well, I'll have to keep an eye on it, because to me, this feels like it's going to crawl, like, everywhere, and that's always so attractive. I've got y'all, again, kind of sideways. Uh, it just seems like a, oh, didn't even realize this had one. Okay, I have no idea what I'm going to do. And I'm also having my, my nose is hurting from everything. Okay. So, I think what's, I'm going to go into Drama Queen first, which is this one right here. And, uh... Okay. Oops. I don't think we need... A, I don't know if that's the brush or if that's a cat or dog hair. I don't know. But I don't think we need that. Okay. Okay. This is like a little on the... I, to me, this looks a little bit on the yellow side. I don't know. Uh, I'll have to show you guys in just a second. Um, I thought this was going to be a good transition shade. And I also forgot that Melt does have kick up in the pan. That's just something, if you get a Melt product for the most part, you're going to have that. It's uh, uh, just something that happens with their brand. Okay, let me scoot up a little bit. Alright. See the shadow? That is definitely not what I expected. Alright, well, I'm committed to it now, so here we go to do the second one. How is everyone doing? I think I asked that before, but I am genuinely curious because I've said this, it was a while back, but everyone that I, that I talk to or come in contact with right now is sick. It's, it's scary. Uh, yeah, even here in my household, my husband's got something going on. And both my boys do too. What's the matter, Seth? Go find Daddy. Go to Daddy. Oh, goodness. No, 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 no. This isn't... <laughs> go find Daddy. Daddy's here. You want to go potty? You got to go potty. So... Tomorrow is the Sephora sale, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna, what exactly I'm getting. I've whittled my uh, list way, way down because of all the stuff that I had coming in from everywhere else. I have a mystery box from Odin's Eye coming in, um, and a concealer brush from BK Beauty which I believe is Angie Hot and Flashy. It's a collaboration. Uh, I've got the thing about from e.l.f. that I told y'all about. I also had the Unearthly Cosmetics and She Glam. I, I think the one thing that I want to make sure I get is the Dior Illuminizer. That one's really got me... Yes, that's... I want to try that one. Okay, I'm going to go into one upper, which is this one right here. And I'm using the Persona brush. Ooh, this one's... 
Hmm, this one's kind of patchy. It could be anything. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this one is super patchy. Could be the primer that I use. I generally, genu generally, I don't have a problem with patchiness with milk. That's that's never been an issue. That's kind of interesting. But I don't know when they went to these small pans, you know, like this. I don't know if um, they changed the formula or. It, you know, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, this one, not happy. Okay, I'm back. Alright, um, it's not too bad, but, yeah, it's definitely not as good as what I'm used to. Okay, so on the lips, it's not coming out of the lines, but it's already fading. Um, I tell you though, it's super hydrating, but it's going to be, it's kind of uh, like a, between a lip gloss and a lipstick. I would... It acts kind of like a lip oil. You know how you put them on and you just have to keep putting them on and on and on. Well, that's kind of what it's acting like. Alright, I am going to go into... Too Much, which is this one right here. I've got some, uh, definitely, so, is anybody else getting anything, starting with the, the sale tomorrow, or are y'all waiting for, right now, it's 30% off of all Sephora products, and I tell you what, there is a, a luminizer, I think they call it there, but it's a highlighter, I'll get mine in a minute and show you. You guys, it if you can get it 30% off even, it is like one of the most fantastic highlighters I have. And I'm talking about, you know, I use House Labs and Dior and all those. This this one is just beautiful. Let me. Today I'm using Give, uh, the highlighter from Gwen Stefani's line. Okay, I'm putting uh, too much over uh, the top of the two that I put down already, which is uh, One Upper and Drama Queen. And, uh, yeah, that looks better. For, I'm going to use two of the both of the shimmers which are in here. We have Ego Trip and Arrogant. Whoa! Do you guys know any Aries? I know a Leo and a Sagittarius that have that are arrogant and they have ego trips. Of course, it didn't say many nice things about Capricorns either, and I'm a Capricorn. Okay, I'm gonna have to find another brush. Okay, I'm back, and I pulled out my Morphe E22. So eventually, I get there. All right, so I think we have a good blend on everything going here. I don't know if you can hear that because the camera picks up some weird stuff. Can it, You might be hearing my husband sneezing. He has the loudest sneezes in the universe. Uh, the first time I heard it, it, it actually scared me. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead real quick and put Revenge, which is this one right here. I'm just going to put a little bit in the corner here. I will have almost used every shade in the palette by the time I'm done. I saved this one till last because, to be honest, I really didn't want to do this one. <laughs> 
uh, I didn't know it, it was the least to me the least inviting of the four that came out but I had you know I am not it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be not at all today I don't know where everyone lives I do know a few people in Texas and uh, I think one in Virginia but it's gonna be 80 something here today I, I mean we're already gearing up for a, a really super hot summer put this oh no I didn't okay cool all right now I'm going to I haven't put down uh, any glitter glue or anything like that so first I'm gonna go into the ego trip feels nice and creamy so I think this will probably work yeah that's nice okay let me do the other side all right now I'm gonna go into arrogant and uh, I just realized like every one of the ones here are all <laughs> not good. I don't even recognize that the last ones were all, but yeah, this says the bad zodiac, so I guess I, I didn't even realize. Okay. I'm gonna have to blend just a little bit because this is like a very strong, oh, poopy very strong color but I will say that the shimmers are I'm just gonna say sparklies because that's what I always say but they are very very uh, you can do things with them that's what I what I want to say they're very easy to use okay let me blend a little bit and I'll be right back I just have to do a few small corrections to make it, there we go. Now, under eyes, um, did we use hot head? We could use hot head for part of it. Hot head is this one right here. I don't think we've used it. But we've used every other shade in the palette we've used. Okay, so uh, I do have some fallout from the, sh the shimmer shade underneath my eye right here. That's not unusual. But in this particular instance, it actually works. Uh, with the shade that's on there. Okay. I'm um, going to... I think I have, like, some kind of anti-mascara thing going on because I keep forgetting to bring it to the table. Maybe I can, I don't know, get help for that. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I haven't... I'm going to go ahead and curl after I knock everything over, I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and put my mascara on and then come back and share with you what I think. Okay, I'm back. Um, one thing I did forget to tell y'all is, again, on my under eye, I'm still testing out the makeup, let's see, Makeup Forever concealer. And, um... Yeah, uh, you'll see when I do my close-up. I'm still super crinkly. It could be, you know, I'm going to try it several different ways to see if I can make it work. But for right now, it's like, you know, I have others that I don't have to work to, to get it to look better. I mean, I, of course I have the wrinkles, but I can still make it look better with a lot of the other ones that I have. So, I'm not real thrilled with that one. The Catrice lipstick. I mean, you kind of get what you pay for. However, your lips feel like they're... 
your, your lips feel like they're really nourished and they're soft. It's like a like a really good lip balm. However, it's also like you're eating it because it disappears. I mean, I was not, I didn't have it on that long before I went on camera and it was already disappearing. So I updated that. I did use the Give by a uh, highlighter from Gwen Stefani's line and uh, I just put it in the corner and a little up here just you know because I like it and I this I have not used this is the second time I've used it it's called it's from Essence and it's called What the Fake it's volumizing and lengthening mascara it has fibers in it this is it right here um, I actually like it I mean it's not my favorite but I like it okay so here it is uh, let me see I know yesterday I was in shadows okay this is the look I have to say even though this was the one that I did not want to do and I was like I left it till last and it's been sitting there this was actually not the one I had the hardest time with so there you go I, I recommend melt if if you don't mind kick up in the pan and some fallout that is standard with everyone that they do uh, these are beautiful uh, I have a huge collection of Mel and I love them so anyway uh, I hope everybody is going to have a good rest of the day and wherever you are I hope you are well take care have some fun but stay safe check your surroundings you guys know and I will see you on the next video Bye, guys.